Welcome back to art and my name is Miss Rachel and I'm going to show you how to start with a drawing of an animal or creature and transform that 2D drawing into a 3D sculpture form with an armature which would be the first step of making your sculpture into a paper mache piece. So the armature part I had to decide which parts am I making first the very big part, the biggest part is your body. So you wanna do your body first and attach the head to it. And after you attach the head to the body, then you can add the tail if you have an animal with a tail. Um, whether it's short or long or thin or wide, I'm doing an axolotl, which is a type of salamander. And then you will eventually, after you do the head, body and tail, then you will do, so this is one, two, three. So after you do those three parts, then you will do the legs or ears, which my part, I don't have ears, but I have gills. So that'd be five. And if you don't have ears, maybe you have spikes or fins if it's a fish. Okay, so once I've got that drawn out and planned, then I'm going to start building my armature. An armature is the structure or skeleton that is on inside the middle of your uh, sculpture piece. So the first two things that I made was a head and a body. To get these shapes, first I took a ball, I took a piece of paper and I rolled it up into a ball. And if you want your head to be bigger because your head is bigger for your animal, you might need to use more than one piece of paper. So this is like one or two pieces of paper. This is two, maybe two and a half pieces of newspaper. And I'm just recycling old newspaper that I have left over. Um, you might tear it in half to have one square at a time to start crumpling it into a ball. Now, if this ball is too small for my head, then I want more paper. I'm gonna roll it up. And the tape that I'm gonna use is masking tape, okay? So this is about three pieces of paper here to get about this size. Now I'm using masking tape because masking tape or painter's tape is stronger than scotch tape. Scotch tape is the clear tape and that won't work. The other thing that I'm gonna do is on the edge of my table, I'm gonna tear off strips, little strips of, pa of tape that are about two, three inches long, no longer than three inches. Now I'm showing you here because I'm putting it on the edge of my table, but you can't see it over there. But if I get them all ready to go, then my hands are free to start taping. So now I can start taping it so it stays together. I also want to make sure that my paper is condensed and it's tight and dense, meaning if I poke at it, it's not going to have a bunch of air pockets in the middle. See that sticking out? We don't want that to stick out. So I'm gonna tape that down. Okay, so there is my head shape. Now, to make the body shape, I wanna have three of these balls together to make the body. And I'm gonna roll it up into one long newspaper. Now, if you don't have newspaper around, you might have newsprint that is inside your shipping boxes that you get shipments in the mail, that paper will work too. So once I had made my three balls for my shape of body, and your body might be round, like if it's a turtle shell, you might need to have one big paper ball wrapped up instead of little ones. So it might be one ball with a little ball at the end. It depends on the shape of your animal. Then I'm gonna take this big piece of paper and wrap it like a, like a burrito or a present that's a long shape. So I'm rolling it and now because I have tape ready on the edge of my table I can start oh I didn't have tape ready so that's why it's best to have tape ready because now I gotta let go of it get my tape ready and then I might have to tighten it up again and pull on it to make it a round tight little burrito shape Okay, so here's my tape. Now I gotta rewrap it so it's tight and stays together and it's not loose with air pockets. 
Then I can tape this shut. So it stays together. And I'm gonna make sure that it's flat. And if it's not, I'll get a little bit more tape for that spot that's not staying together. Okay. So there's my body shape. Now it is a little loose. How can I fix it? Because this is much more condensed and tight. I can get another piece of newspaper. And I can wrap one more time. Get my tape ready. Oh, loud. Get my tape ready. Little pieces of tape, two inches a piece on the edge of my table, ready to go so my hands are free to tape and attach. Now, roll it up one more time if it's loose and push down with your weight as you stand up and you're pushing down on the table and roll. So I'm pushing and rolling, pushing and rolling. And this will make it tighter and sturdier, stronger for when you put the paper mache paste on it. Because the paper mache is wet, the paste is wet when we put it on top of this for the uh, sculpture. So we don't want this to be loose and falling apart. Okay, so here we go. It's now pretty tight like this. Got two bodies now. So once you have your head and your body, again, it depends on the animal. If you have like a rabbit or something, it might be standing up. But I have something that's a salamander, so it's going to be long like that. You're going to make a tail. And the tail is going to be attached to it. Now, my tail is a little bit too long. I think I'm going to have to cut it and make it shorter. But you're going to make a long tail to attach to it. Before I make the tail, though, <coughs> I made a neck. <coughs> to make this long ring, this ring for the neck, which is going to go here, I'm going to roll paper. This is the same thing you do for the tail as you do for the neck. I'm going to take my paper. Really? Okay, so here's my paper and I'm rolling it. Rolling, rolling, rolling. And after I roll it up, then I ring it and twist it. So this is a ringing maneuver to twist and ring. See how I'm twisting it? This is going to make it so it's secure and strong. And now I can twist it into a ring shape and tape that together for my neck of my creature. Because this neck is going to give me space to show that there is, there is a neck attached to the head. So this is going to be turned into a ring. Like that. And I'm going to tape it together. I might have to cut it, but for now, I'm going to see if this will work. Yep, I think it'll work. I'm going to take off this extra paper with my scissors. There we go. And tape that together. So now that I have my ring together, it's going to be taped onto the animal. Okay. I like this ring that I did before. So. so I'm going to tape my neck first, then my head. And every time I put tape down, I'm pressing to make sure that there's no air pockets sticking out and making bubbles. Okay. So now that my neck is on here, then I'm going to take my head and attach it to the head, the head to the neck. You will use quite a bit of tape, but to um, make it easier for yourself so you don't 
overdo it with tape, you want to get little pieces of tape. I suggest not using giant long pieces of tape to wrap it because then you'll have more air pockets sticking out from the tape that's not flat and secure. So smaller pieces around the whole head like this will be better, okay? All the way around. And I'm pressing to make sure it stays on it. It's not sticking out. If there's little flaps sticking out. It won't work either. Okay. All right. So there's my head. There's my neck. There's my body. Now my tail, which I did a bigger version of the neck for the tail, which I just used twice as much newspaper. Okay. So I did the same thing. I rolled it. Like that. And then I did a twisting or a ringing maneuver with my hands. And then I twisted it in on itself and wrapped it together like that. And that became, becomes my tail. Okay, and you probably need to tape a few places down for the tail so it doesn't fall apart on you when you try to attach it. So, I'm just making sure that it doesn't fall apart on me before I attach it, okay. And the very end of my tail is kind of pointy, so I just twisted the very end like this. And then I took my tape and I just wrapped it from the end and kept going down. So now it looks pointy. So then you're gonna attach the tail to the, to the animal, wherever that might go, if it sticks up or sticks down, okay? Again, same thing, little pieces of tape to attach it to the end of the body. All the way around it. From above, below, beside it, all the way around so it doesn't fall off, okay? So I'm going to continue to add tape all the way around there. Next, you um, have feet or legs. So here's one leg that I did for my creature. So this is, again, twisting the paper like this, but I twisted it and made it short. Now, it's too long, so I'm probably going to cut this off. What's my leftover? And I'm gonna look at my animal drawing and see if it is the right size. Uh-oh, my drawing fell on the floor. Oh, where is it? Oh, okay, here it is. So I'm gonna refer to my picture. My legs shouldn't be, oopsie. My legs shouldn't be too long. See, they shouldn't be this long, this is too long. So I actually need this to be two legs. I don't know if that's gonna cut, I'm gonna try. Aha, yes, I've got two legs. So that looks good. So I need to make two more to attach them where they need to be. This is before I put the, the hands on it. Your hands or feet will be done on cardboard. So I have leftover cardboard from like a cardboard box for uh, crackers or cereal. And uh, here's my big box. I just cut it off of it, okay? And so then after I cut off these squares, I took my pencil or Sharpie marker, whichever you're using, and I drew on it like the wrist area of the hand or the foot. And then the toes. So this is what, I wanna make four of them, one for each leg. And so I'm gonna draw all four feet or hands for my creature. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut them out. Now you could, you could draw one and trace it so you have four that look the same, which is not a bad idea. I think I might try that because I want them to look the same. So I'm gonna draw one cut it out and then I'll trace it because then all of my 
feet for my axolotl will look about the same. And I really like the idea of having them look like they all belong to the same critter, okay? So here's one. And I'm gonna use that Sharpie so you can see it better. So I'm gonna just trace it like this with the black Sharpie so I know which side I cut. And then they're all gonna be the same. Oh, my arm's in the way, sorry. Okay. So once you have your feet or your hands for your critter, or maybe you have claws for your animal, whatever kind of animal it is, cut them out of cardboard, attach the cardboard to your legs, And then once you attach them with the tape, got the legs on, this is when you would do um, anything else that you have for your animal. So I've got my feet, I've got my legs, and then I'm also gonna have, I'm gonna have four feet, four legs. I'm gonna have my gills, or if you have ears or a horn, you wanna make those out of cardboard too. So all of it's gonna be drawn and cut out and taped onto your animal. Okay, now I haven't got attached my feet or my legs to it, but I did attach my tail. Axolotls have some skin that starts on their tail right here and it goes above their back like that. It's like a piece of skin that makes them so it makes it uniform. So this blue line here is the skin that's attached to it. It's almost like a fin. So what I did was I used cardboard and I drew, I cut, I drew it and then I cut out a long piece of cardboard that's flat from the cereal box and I attached that all the way from their back down to the end of their tail and then the other side. I had to use a lot of tiny little pieces of tape to attach it, but I really liked the look of it. So this is all part of my armature. So this one needs, it needs its legs, it needs its feet and its gills. And then it'll be ready for the paper mache pasting part, which will be the next video that I make and show you to show that step. But the very first step is building your armature really strong and sturdy with tape, cardboard, and newspaper so that you can make it into a paper mache sculpture. Thanks, everybody. Be sure to follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Rachel's Whimsical Arts, and check out my channel. Maybe subscribe and follow. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Thanks.